Polish till you shine. Devi aye catch you. You go so catch you. Say, I rap one day. Say, I'll shine. I'm gonna make you chew, 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 chew. Cause it's so best shine. We shine and cry in joy. Cause we are chew, chew. Yes, <laughs> welcome to the Copy Share News Live channel. And my name is Chrissy Nabila. And once you hear my voice, definitely when you say BBR, but BBR dropping news in a tomb. I said it, bro. So it's time to bring you entertainment news update right here on the Copy Chain News Live channel. You know how we do it. I mean, it's it's the freshest, the juiciest, the trendiest entertainment news tidbit in and around the world of entertainment showbiz, baby. Ah, I mean. And then I did, bro. But before we go into our story, the Biami Cash will say, subscribe to the channel. I mean, subscribe. Me and subscription. So subscribe, yeah. Make sure that you click on the notification button. I mean, so that at least you're publishing news now, you get it first hand. And today we are talking about Becca. Oh, yeah, yeah, mommy Becca. I mean, the international superstar. Yeah, can Becca Hwasema, I think that's Yin Yin because she's one of the women who have done so well for the Ghanaian music industry. She's been one of the pioneers. Yeka Emma Mudia Kotini wa Ghana music industry. Nima Yin Timin Bok, Inja Becca Dean Freeman. And Becca has been in the news and apparently Ya Yin Yin, George Floyd, Wu Hwasema Kofa. I mean, a lot of protest in America going on about George Floyd's death and justice for George Floyd. That has triggered the whole conversation around racism and i mean becca also wanted to add her voice i said what she said didn't sit well with people and she's been dragged all over social media i mean becca has been trending all over on social media about a lot of things but yeah sure what was the thing that actually becca said now becca said something she posted something on twitter on her twitter official twitter verified twitter i mean account that is at becca africa at Becca Africa. I mean, I mean, she posted this on June 3rd, 2020. This is what Becca posted. And I quote, you are here in Africa fighting and advocating racism in the US, but in your church or home, you are criticizing and judging someone for marrying a fellow African because they are not from your hometown or country or church. Damn hypocrites. I mean, it's the Becca car same way I mean, I don't know, but it looks like it didn't sell well with a lot of people on Twitter. And one of the first people to have, I mean, to have been, to have reacted to Becca's tweet was a uh, Ghanaian actress, Amake Ababese. And she also tweeted at Becca. She quoted Becca's tweet and said that, Sis, they are both wrong. However, it's incomparable to equate the fights for the systematic racism in the USA to African tribalism in marriage and hypocrisy. You can highlight that without appearing to diminish the fight about police brutality. Murder is not marriage. Love you always. A lot of people thought, say, I mean, she was starting a beef with Becca and she was, she had a personal vendetta to, with Becca to settle or vendetta with Becca to settle. And people thought, say, I mean, only Becca was saying, but I'm sure when Amaki Abrebrese saw the reaction, she came back to tweet again and said that if anyone thinks there's a beef with, with at Becca Africa, they are sadly wrong. This is a discourse and I get where this is coming from and it is valid. Though I may not agree with the comparison, let's be united in love and stand up to injustice wherever we see it, home and abroad. But yeah, sure, I mean, how people also took what Becca said. I mean, uh, and Ghanaian um, um, celebrity and actress and influencer and advocate and just in their doors. Yes, it's that Lydia Forsen. Also tweeted at Lydia Forsen. She tweeted uh, via her official Twitter handle and said that, Sis, I believe you can dedicate your platform to speak on tribalism and give it the attention you feel it deserves without denigrating the voices of those speaking against racism. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. And a lot of people, I mean, uh, Twitter boys, the agenda is super bad. so <laughs> tweeting at Kosu Jimmy said, just drop <laughs> just a drop of benedict solution on becca 10 yellow this proved that ghana most of our food contains style so she was she was actually aiming a dick at how becca has undergone color transformation i mean yeah another way and somebody i mean mr president at oppressi oppressi tweeted and said we can't sit in ghana and fight racism in the usa but we can sit in ghana and try to look like an american 
I'm sorry, come again, Becca. And you also care about Becca's color, color transformation and everything. Becca Seth, this one is at UCC Shatawal tweeting at I am Samuel Page. I am Samuel Page. He tweeted and said, Because Becca Seth, you are a Ghanaian, but you said Ghana boys aren't your type. Will you go marry a Nigerian? Well, that's racism plus tribalism. Double Salansa writes right that double silence at that i mean so that was that was somebody's reaction another one said what's becca talk really they make sense i don't get that dragon some of you see 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 them they drag some raw pet you go take your fooling drag some the so-called influencers them they funny me <laughs> the ways i can influence us i'm this one uh tweeting at xs underscore trey said racism st- Racism started when you went from Becca to Michael Jackson. And see, I'm not for Kikaki. I mean, people are, people are, a lot of the tweet. This one tweeted and said, Dear Becca, the Lord that transformed you from darkness to light will also make our voices heard. Now, cele- celebrity uh, blogger, I mean, Deborah also tweeted and said that, Woke up to many tweets about Becca. I think she was speaking her truth, whether right or wrong. It's a different, whether right or wrong is a different matter. Ghanaian philosopher, Amiel Debra. So this one tweeting at Kwabna1 or at original KW, original K and W, uh, underscore, <laughs> original underscore KW said, I agree with Becca because you can't wash white clothes before black clothes and come to social media to advocate against racism in us so those were some of the reaction from Ghanaian tweets about what becca said i mean about the racism thing and a whole lot but people for me i think that i mean I, of course some of these people are dragging you wouldn't say people some people just want to use the opportunity to denigrate becca and drag her name into the mind but like i mean ama k abrebrese and uh, lydia Fortin said becca has a very valid point in the when she talks about i mean how we 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 tribalize ourselves how we we dwell on tribalism and ethnocentrism and i mean how people we we tend to i mean discriminate against our own self our own selves about how we act and how we do our thing but i think that i mean the equalization was not really necessary i mean if a baker wants to talk about i mean tribalism and ethnocentrism so like i was saying i mean i think that like what amaki abebe say and and lydia forsen said about the tweet i think that ethnocentrism is a big thing here i mean um um ethnocentrism is a big thing tribalism i mean discrimination and i mean we divide our own selves it's a big thing here but i think that i mean becca could have spoken about it without really equating two issues i mean we are talking about black lives matter this thing has triggered a whole outreach around the whole world people are talking about it so i think that um it, it was good that becca drew our attention about the fact that i mean even as we are fighting i mean racism or as we are fighting and talking black lives matter elsewhere we should also not forget that in our own cobwebs we yes yeah, so we have our own discrimination of our own something that is equal to racism i mean the fact that we are very tribalistic as a people we are very ethnocentric as a people ain't it? i mean we should learn to i mean learn to do away with that i mean as we talk about george floyd that so i mean it's a very dicey situation but the equalization was not really necessary i think that the equalization was not really necessary so i mean next time i think say becca she can i mean look at it she can come back again but what can you do amount for say yanka say if you are going to be true to us if this is true we are very ethnocentric we have i mean i when you make us say money in the band worry fantini fantini make us say money ben worry as anthony as anthony make us say money ben worry gani and a whole lot of people i mean that those things are are systemic it, it's ingrained in our system it's ingrained in our culture and see i mean we should learn to do away with that but i think that becca shouldn't have equated and more and more dragging so moon jai in some hunu no gana for your pen some hunu crowd with the waka wa i think that most of you want to drag her name and some of you are i mean insulting her left right said some of you are dragging her whole marriage thing into this whole situation i think that it's not really necessary ain't it everything for an innocent social media for and some celebrities are really blasting becca they are dragging becca's name on twitter about i mean what people say her insensitive comments of equal equalizing tribalism and, and ethnocentrism 
with racism so that's the entertainment news update right here on the copy chain news live channel music channel no so i won't subscribe yet you see and for subscribe to the channel click on the notification button and make sure that once the news is published you get it at first time hey people charlie corona now around into let's stay safe let's protect ourselves together let's drive corona away of course it is polish till you shine